Whoa, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. The Terra crews are heading to work, surfed a little today. It's kind of nice. I'm right off the bat. I need to wish a happy birthday to Matt down in Cape Town, South Africa. Your buddy Basil Muller wanted, to wish, wanted me to wish you a happy birthday. So I uh, hope you're doing well down there in Cape Town. Sure, if you're surfing, you score a lot down there. That's pretty cool. That's literally the other side of the planet from where I am. High frequency tribe is global. So anyway, it's been interesting the last couple days in the dream. Um, it was cool. These two kids graduated from high school from Texas. And they're on a road trip. And they swung by and said hi to the illusion, man. Justin and Sam from Texas came by. And then I talked to this cat on the phone the other, yesterday from Alabama. English lit professor at the university. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's a radical spectrum of human beings right now. And we're all on the same page. You know, we're trying to stay in a high frequency state of mind in spite of ourselves, in spite of the world in general, and uh, try not to get all wrapped up in the negative frequencies. You know, it's been interesting. I've been, uh, I guess more and more I've been realizing I'm slightly uptight, which makes me slightly edgy. And when I'm in that space, it doesn't let the, uh, the universe flow properly like today I woke up and I was just not in sync right and I was I was out of sorts and the disconnectedness I think is what makes me super edgy you know because I'm I'm into being connected with God and source energy and being in the, the one and when I'm not I definitely feel it and it's kind it's a place I don't like to inhabit so I woke up this morning and I was already behind the eight ball been a little edgy lately I don't know where it's coming from though if I do look at the uh, outside world right at the outside world it's a reflection of my inner self you know, there seems to be some sort of, like, conflict going on out there, you know. I made a video about it. I'm going to put it on just a link down below. You can watch it, not. It's sort of a rant about what went down in, in Florida. You know, I don't know if I necessarily need to put that on the big broadcast. Man, I think there's some valid points in what I have to say, but again valid points or not it's this weird thing of, of realizing engaging in the conversation at all is to be part of the uh the low frequency vibe man like it's it's obvious what the haters want to do and the people that don't understand what the haters are up to i mean i guess they're just as bad as the haters dude you know ignorance is no excuse right so it's been, you know, it's that thing of trying to, you know, I can't say ignore it. It's not ignoring things. It's basically realizing that to spend any energy in the corrective measure of these hugely negative things is actually to like co-sign on to them. You know, it's, I'm not in denial about any of it. I'm just like fully aware of it. So it's that decision of like, to inhabit another space, another plane of existence, another dimension, another consciousness. And you know, the hardest part is to like shake that off because the way the, the signal is, it's inserted into us. I've made a video about output input, you know, like whatever's going on out there, as much as I try to avoid it, it has the ability to like snake itself around 
and insert itself into my like database. And once it gets in there, man, you know, it's in there. There's no denying it's in there. So, you know, when I peripherally see the, the insanity of that's going on out there, it does affect me subtly, even though if I look at my day I'm in right now, like there's no insanity going on. Maybe Owl's happy, the Hologram's happy, the Minigram's happy. I went and surfed like heavy closed out waves with my buddy, dude, we were happy. So, you know, I, I don't wanna say that like, you gotta turn a blind eye to it and cause, uh, Ignorance is not bliss. Ignorance is just ignorance. But there's a certain thing of, of not jumping on the crazy train. Stay off the crazy train, right? Because the outside world is just a reflection of our inner self. So if we, if we do our very best to make the, the world we inhabit in, in our immediate physical space positive and loving and kind, it will reflect out and yet that's what this disconnectedness I felt was all about like this disharmony is because I'm not 100% there man I still have inklings of the insanity within me I still act negatively I still participate in low frequency frequency energy fields and radiate that energy sometimes and it's like ugh. <sighs> It's like the part in Jacob's Ladder with the head shaking. <laughs> I don't know, man. But you know what? I meet a lot. I've had the blessings of, of realizing that we are a worldwide group of people from South Africa to Alabama to road tripping from Texas to out there in, in Germany, man. Marcus. Marcus, I know you're out there in Germany checking us out. Somebody's been watching some of these in Mongolia, dude, you know. I go check out my analytics and like, you know, all over the world, right? So anyway, I just lost my shade, so my phone's gonna heat up. Let's keep the frequency high and, and uh, do our very best to sit, stay in the, uh, the positive. It's the illusion out. Oh.